Well, hello out there in YouTube land. I got a update for you here. This is not going to be a quick one. This is going to be a fairly decent one. Uh, I've got a lot to show you here. A lot of things going on now, so stick around. We'll get right to it. This is Surviving 2 coming to you with another video. Well, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, like I said in the beginning, I got quite a bit to kind of show you. I sent off for this is a male to female connector cable. And it's about three feet long. But I got two of them. Luckily, when I ordered it, I, it was in a two pack. This one is bad. <laughs> this on the female end of it the connections that's up in here is not any good i can sit there and wiggle it and i can get continuity and then i can't and so that one's toast i don't know it's a paperweight now <laughs> so but i did solve the problem of side by side so stick around i'll show you what's going on okay here is the jumper cable this is the bad one but i wanted to show you a little more detailed picture of it and there's the female side and over here's the male side and this one like i said it is toast but the other one that's connected up right there is working great fantastic and rock pals if you're listening you need to make your parallel cable about three feet longer or else take an adapter like I've done and throw in between to throw in between the two of them and throw it in with the kit. So I'll show you a little more detailed shot of what I got going on here. There's the two lights that are on. One of them is parallel and the other one showing power. And then over here on this one, same thing got the two lights going on which shows parallel now i've also got another cable plugged in there on the side which comes around here to my rock pals 300 watt that needs to be juiced up i'm going to plug it in you find the right way the cord goes there we go and i'll plug it up and hopefully I can get a detailed shot of the screen here without getting a lot of reflection. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. And you see that it's charging. And I guess it doesn't really matter where or which end of this setup. Now, there we go, out of focus again. <laughs> there we are. I guess it doesn't care which end whether I connect this one here or other stuff there, which is what I'm doing. So as long as it's paralleled, they both seem to work. Now what I got here, I've got two cables plugged in there. One's a power cable and it's coming around over here. And one of the adapters that came with the Rock Pals solar panels, I've got on the end of this wire here. Now this is something I hadn't shown before. It's a jump starter. It's one of those battery powered jump starters. So it plugs in right down here and get on the screen. Hopefully I can get it blocked off where you can see that it's showing a hundred percent, which is already powered up. But that means the blue light came on. That means I can charge it off the solar panel if I need to. Now the other one, the other cable I've got is a split cable. It's two USBs that are connected up internally. Both of them will put power out and one of them will put data and power. But the other one is strictly power only, which all I'm interested in is power. But I've got my phone hooked up to it here. So let me plug this connection up. And if I can do this one-handed, hopefully, yeah, we got to put the camera down, guys. Okay, there we go. And there the screen came on, and it's charging. 
you can tell from the little red light there this is a Samsung S7 so it's charging off of the solar panels now too so woohoo I'm all set I'm all set so that means now I can stand them up side by side like that and be able to get all the power I need to and get full power out of both panels. Yeehaw! That's working great. I'm loving it. And look at all this stuff I got plugged in on it. And it should it should still charge up that 300 watt power supply down there. That thing, uh, uh, even with all this other stuff going on, it should do pretty good. So that's the update that well I got some other stuff I wanted to show you I wanted to show you something else here too that I picked up okay now these top three cables came with or come with the rock pals solar panel now there's my three carabiners this is what I keep in each one of the kits one of the panels in the bag one of them is a parallel cable the other one is a power cable and then you got your rock pals power supply or other power supply cables there and then it also comes with get the shadow out of the way two adapters there which come to find out one of these adapters fits that jump starter that i'm using over there so that's in one of the solar panels and the other one I'm missing the cables because I'm using it over here on the solar panels and there's Pudgy checking everything out you better not chew on the cables Pudgy okay so now on this one I have also the other three carabiners to hook it up with there's one of the cables because I'm using the power cable over there around where Pudgy is and then I got the USB, two USB cables there so that I can hook into that Y adapter that I've got down there. Now also, I've got a lot of other electronic devices and I picked this up. These are all different kinds of adapters that fit these power cables. So that way I can just plug in whatever I need to plug in and power it and do it that way. So that works out pretty good. That'll go in with the Rock Pals power supply. So that way I've always got stuff in there for it. Now here, get out of the sunlight. Here is the jump starter. It's got 110 connector in there, 12 volt connector in there, jumper cables in there, USB cables in there, and the power supply itself goes in there. And then it tells you what all it'll do is we'll do a diesel or gas engine. I think it's up to like six liters that it'll do. And it came with the case. It's a hard shell case, so that's pretty cool. And that's who it's by, DB Power. And not bad. I did a lot of checking on different things and I thought this one would be the best one and it would fit what I need around here so anyway that's about it I'm gonna sit there and let all this stuff charge up and enjoy the sunshine that we finally got because it's been oh, it's been raining and cloudy and everything else around here lately but now we're looking for good weather and they're talking Christmas Day gonna be 70 degrees I'm out here in just a, a flannel shirt so <laughs> it's already nice and we still got two more days before it hits 70 so I'm gonna be loving this it's gonna be a heck of a Christmas all right so I'll catch y'all on the next one y'all take care out there later well, I was sitting here updating uh, or finishing charging the 300 watt power supply because I've been charging all kinds of stuff while the 
sun wasn't available and everything else instead of using 110 and I noticed that my camcorder was down on the battery so what do I do I plug it into the solar panel see a charge light and it's connected up to the solar panel and charging off of it so as long as you got sun there's never ending supply of power and things you can charge with it all right, that's it for this time. Later. I want to thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.